Before we start cooking show, I am pregnant. Not! I am not pregnant. I am not pregnant. I don't know how many times I said on public I am not pregnant. Just because sometimes I wear just a little, you know, like a little baggy clothes. As soon as I wear baggy clothes, if it's not tight enough, oh, you're pregnant? Girls, girls, we like baggy clothes, don't we? So we can hide our belly. Hide our muffin tops, hide our this top, you know what I mean? So, yeah. I just hope you guys all understand I am not pregnant. I am N O T pregnant. Hi guys, I'm Sang Kyung Long Guest. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today I'm going to show you how to make Mongolian ground. You guys love my ground beef bulgogi. So easy and fun to make. Check it out right here. And I may I decide to make this Mongolian beef. Who doesn't love Mongolian beef? So I decide to make this Mongolian ground beef. It's going to be so fast, simple and easy for a quick dinner menu. So let's get started. First, you need one pound of ground beef in a mixing bowl. Add eight cloves of garlic that finely chopped. Two tablespoons of Shaoxing wine, Chinese cooking wine. If you cannot find Chinese cooking wine, you can just use dry sherry or any cooking wine that you have in your house. One eighth teaspoon of black pepper. Mix everything together and set aside. Now we are going to mix up the sauce. So for the sauce, you will need quarter cup of soy sauce, quarter cup of water, quarter cup of sugar, one to two tablespoons of sambal, the chili sauce. One teaspoon of cornstarch, pinch of black pepper. Mix everything together until sugar has all the way dissolved and set aside. And before we start cooking, go ahead and cut two bundles of green onions into two inch long pieces. All right, now we are going to heat a wok over high heat. Add one tablespoon of cooking oil and the beef mixture. Stir, cook, and break down the beef. We are going to cook the beef until all the moisture is gone, about seven to nine minutes. Beef is nicely cooked, it's just searing a little bit, and there's no moisture on the bottom of the wok. This is time to pour the sauce mixture. When you pour the sauce into the wok, go ahead and do around the wok so it will Now you all know why, right? It will evaporate some moisture while it goes into the wok and it will create beautiful umami flavor. Mix everything together until beef is evenly coated and absorb all this delicious sauce. Then go ahead and put the green onions. the heat, garnish with some sesame seeds and a little bit drizzle of sesame oil if you like. 
I like to serve this Mongolian ground beef on top of a warm cooked rice and that's my preparation. Uh, no, prefer, preference, preference. But if you want to, you can serve this on top of anything, whatever you want, like a keto friendly starch, like a cauliflower rice or noodles or a salad. It will still work really beautifully. So yeah, that's it. Guys, let's eat. Put some sriracha. I know I put some sambal in the recipe, but not enough for my taste. Sambal is like chili sauce, but it's like a tablespoon. You couldn't even taste it. Got a little, little kick. It's just tiny, tiny. Bit. Gives a little kick. You can't even tell it's in it, to be honest. Mmm. I see it. I wish that you can smell this. Yeah, you can. The red one. Yeah, you yeah, need, yeah. You need to cook this just so you can smell it. Mmm. 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 He even kicked their remote. This is a bulgogi. Mmm. Yeah, you're right, right. I mean, the sauce is a little similar though. Yeah, it's just. Sweet, savory, soy sauce. Yeah. So good. I think I might have a little sriracha too. Give it a little extra. Why? Yeah, I try a little bite in with sriracha. Ah, you've got that a little more than that. No. Mm. Oh. Ah, oh, come on. This is enough for a bite. It doesn't need it, <laughs> but it's good. Do you know what else would be good on this? Put an egg on it. Mmm. What's that? Whatever. You love putting eggs on things. Like, <laughs> you, are you are you Asian inside? You're yeah. Asian inside because I always like put an egg on it. <laughs> put an egg on anything. You're such a breakfast put an egg guy. On it. Yeah. Like put an egg on it. all Asians, we love putting fried egg on top or hard boiled egg or whatever in the food. But you are like a little extra mild than us, to be honest. You put an egg on it on top of a cold lasagna. He does. You do? Where did I yeah. learn, Where did I learn that from? <laughs> but who does that? What? What? Who does that? You did. Mm. Wait, he, she put an egg on enchiladas. It was what? good. What? It was good. It has to be leftover enchilada. Leftover enchilada for cold breakfast? Cold enchilada in the breakfast. You put some it's in. not cold. You heat them up still. I would change your, I would mm. change your, your, uh, we need to make the enchilada. Yeah, we'll do. Jacob's enchilada. It's actually my mom's recipe. I learned all of my cooking from my mom. Almost all of it. It's so good. My I... mom's not, she doesn't have a, a, she's not Mexican or Latina or nothing, but she makes them really, I was going to say damn good enchiladas. Hey, Can watch out, that? watch out. No, I don't want yellow flag. No yellow flag. It's watch some out. darn good, it's some darn good enchiladas. Oh my gosh, you want some Mongolian beef with that? Sriracha? Sriracha. Yeah. Mm. Guys, if you liked my ground Mongolian beef recipe or Mongolian ground beef recipe, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more inspirations and ideas of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching us today. And remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Song Yong Long Gas. I'm Jacob Long and this is Asian at Home. We will see you next time. Bye, guys. Peace out. Bye. 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 So good. Bye. What? Oh yeah, because you put that much sriracha in it. <laughs> Bye. Honestly, with this much sriracha and some fried egg.